It is good morning, Samika. Good morning, Tom. This was a critical situation where seconds counted, and these four educators right here became an important link in the chain of survival for beloved photographer Neil Carew. It's been nearly two months, and it's the first time I was laying right there. 74 year old Neil Carew has been back in the middle school gym where he collapsed. He doesn't remember much. It's a miracle I was at the right place when it happened. But he remembers these four Brazos Middle School heroes that brought him back to life. Each one played a critical role when Carew's heart stopped. The first, Coach Kathy Egger, she was just feet away. When I turned around, he went down at that moment. Egger says instinct and training kicked in. She called out for help. I screamed Denise and she came and said, what? And I told her, it's Neil. Teacher Denise Minx came running in. She knew the next step, CPR. I just grabbed a shirt and popped the buttons off and started compressions. Seconds later, Principal Clay Hudgens says he remembers seeing Carew on the ground. He called 911. We got a man dying in the gym. He's mid to late 70s. He probably had a heart attack in the gym. And then remembered the one thing that would bring Carew back. I knew that we needed the AED, and, and since we've got that one right outside the door, I went and grabbed it. That AED luckily just feet away. We followed what the AED said to do. Shocked him twice. Is he breathing? Yeah, he's breathing. I've got a pulse. It worked. Carew woke up. I saw two angels. Denise and Kathy were the first ones I saw when I woke up. Carew was taken to the hospital via life flight. In the hospital, doctors stunned by his discovery, saying only few walk away the way he did. And it's because of these four who did what they did when they did. And this morning, take a look at how many people from the district came out in support of these four educators for what they did. The doctor treating Carew said that only 10% of patients actually survive and recover the way that he did. And this morning, a Foti high five to all four of these lifesavers. They are truly angels. And this morning, we're also learning that the pads on that AED were actually changed a month prior. An incredible job to all of these educators here this morning. Next week, another Foti high five. I'm taking your nominations right now. If you know anyone or a group of people that are doing something exceptional, inspirational, or just doing something to make the world a better place, I want to hear from you. Email me or send me a message on Twitter and Facebook. Back to you guys. Big hug through the TV, Foti. Great story. Thank you so much. All right. Well, the Opportunity Rover